Welcome to another video guys uh, on my E350. If you've watched any of my other videos you'll see that I'm trying to do the work myself. So where I can't do the work obviously I'm going to have to pay to get that work done. Um, but really what I want to do is just you know show you guys that if you've got some tools and a little bit of um, time and patience that you can do some of these modifications yourself. So today's video is going to be about changing the indicators within the mirrors. This is a really, really quick, really simple, really effective modification. So I'm going from the normal flashing clear indicators um, that mine's currently got in it to some smoked sequential um, lights. They look really good. They give the car an up-to-date feel. And like I say, it's so quick to do. So uh, let's get on with it. Sequential uh, unit, 25 quid. Just broke, twisted it to lift it off, so don't please screw it back in. Five minutes aside to fit, it's better than the boring flashing one. Let's get on, let's get rid of these plain, boring, clear, flashing mosaic indicators and change them to these really cool smoke sequential uh, units. These are dead easy to fit, they fit a range of models, so this is obviously an E class, but the C class W04. Four, I think it is, same mirrors as this. The M class with the same mirrors as this can also uh, have these fitted. Now these are generic uh, sequential mirror turn signals off eBay. These cost around 25 quid and I'll put the link in the description so you can go and have a look at them. Dead cheap, really, really good. I've already fitted one to the driver's side. Looks really good, really pleased with it. Straightforward fit, no modification in terms of the wiring. Just goes straight on. Okay, so this is dead straightforward. I'll have to open the car, get the mirrors to fold out, but it literally is a bit of force and these pop off. You don't need any leverage really or anything. It's, it's, I mean, if you can't get it off, then you can use a pry tool. Um, and like I say, uh, the kit can, comes with a pry tool, but I used it on the other side and just broke, so it's pointless. Um, it just it really didn't do anything. Um, it's just a case of a bit of force, but obviously taking your time. So I'll open the car and we'll pop it off. So as you can see, you really want to put the mirror in this position. You don't really need to push it back or bring it this way. This is probably the best way for you to have it. And um, we'll show you where to put the glass. So as you can see, I've kind of, there's a line here. If you try and get the glass, the mirror marked um, in line with that, you can literally pull this part of the mirror off and lift it up. So you can see there's a gap there that's running around. So this is where you would probably use your pry tool. So I need to pull it up and away. Just kind of twisted it to lift it off, so it's off. So you can see in here, there's two clips and that holds in the indicator. So all we need to do is basically undo these two screws. Push that clip back, mirror pop out. And then let's see on the camera. Yeah, push that there. So that's loose. So I'll flip it over, you can see. Just double check on the camera. Yeah. So yeah, so I flipped it over, you can see. It's, it's loose, you just pull it open to the left, it will come out. So there's a, once you get it clear of there, you see? Yeah, you get it clear there, it just literally pops out. Take it. One empty mirror car with no indicator in. So we'll take this, this cool one, I'm just gonna pop the plug on, pop that over there. So this, this plug sits that way. Put it in the case and put it right up to that corner, makes sense. You can then just slide it in, which is what I've just done. You'll hear it click and these two tabs will come back on. And then what you want to do is obviously screw it back in. So you can see the smoke, it looks so much better than it did before. Hear it click and it's in. minutes aside to fit and it brings the car up today well I think it does anyway I really like the sequential indicator it's better than the boring flashing one so 
So uh, yeah, if you like what you see, guys, smash that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so you know when the next video is coming. Loads to come. We've got wheel change, we've got suspension, air filter, another remap, front mount intercooler. Where do we stop? There's loads to come, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.